This video is brought to you by the courtesy of Cons Production. Successfully chasing down their target of 253. It didn't look as if they would at one stage with uh, several of the uh, big names gone. But then Peterson took over in the most stunning fashion. 91 not out with eight fours and four sixes to take England home and condemn Australia to their fourth successive defeat. Australia had raced to 50 inside 10 overs, but Steve Harmison blitzed their top order. Gilchrist was followed by Ponting. Damian Martin prevented a hat-trick, but Harmison had three wickets and four balls. The acrobatics of Paul Collingwood sent Hayden packing soon after. Michael Clark and Mike Hussey steadied the ship. They put on a fifth wicket partnership of 105. Hussey top scored for Australia with 84. Harmison ended with his best international one-day figures of 5 for 33. Chasing 253 to win, Marcus Druscothic got England's reply going with an early boundary of Gillespie's 11 ball over. But Glenn McGrath was far more accurate. Fantastic Yorker. Druscothic out for 16. And moments later, so was Strauss. Michael Vaughan and Collingwood put on 40 before the Durham all-rounder went to Kasprovich. Flintoff helped England pass 100, but fell to the trap set by Hogg and Kasprovich. Vaughan made 57 before being trapped in front by Hogg. Jones went cheaply before Peterson began his one-man mission. Now where's this gone? It's gone far enough, that's six. He was aided and abetted by Solanke before Gilchrist's quick thinking and accuracy left England on 214 for seven. That's just what they need, England. Oh, a tremendous power. Now, where's this gone? It's gone far enough, that's six. Peterson's gone for the big one, that's sailing into the crowd again. The 50 comes up for Kevin Peterson, he does 46 balls, that's his second six. He's in three. Smashed away, extra cover this time, four more. Straight down the ground, Hogg's diving but it's through, it's passed him for four. Such a strong man, plenty of bottom hand again. It's a monster this one. Shades of Vivian Richards here. This is unbelievable. Bigger, bigger and bigger. Well, you've got to take a little bit of respect yesterday. And total embarrassment today. A shake of the head. He cannot believe it. He really cannot. Straight back down the ground, that's four more. He's taken Gillespie to the cleaners here. 17 from that over, Gillespie no wicket for 66, 247 for seven. This field, Lewis is back. Kevin Peterson's the hero for England, 91 not out. England home by three wickets. A nightmare weekend for Australia. Their torment continues. They can't win a cricket match here now. England home. Played 2-1-2. Australia played 2, lost 2. It's magnificent. I don't know how you keep doing it. I don't know either. Um, it's just... Uh, just seems to time the innings right to the minute. Um, and uh, long may it continue. I thought the boys played brilliant cricket today. Um, we didn't chase as well as we would like to have chased. Um, but, I mean, from the start, Steve Harmison, I mean, 5 for 30 against Australia, absolutely amazing. Um, Paul Collingwood's catch, um, Michael Vaughan, all the boys, uh, it was a really good team effort today, and uh, just congratulate all the boys for a fantastic day for England. Um, we didn't chase too well until Kevin Peterson played a, an unbelievable, not almost genius, like, uh, to see us over the home was uh, one of the best batting innings I've seen in one-day cricket, fantastic. Uh, I thought today was a lot better. We, uh, 
we competed a lot better today. We uh, were in a good position in the game, actually, with uh, 10 or 12 overs to go, and we fell over at the end. But there's some good batting involved in that as well, I thought. Um, Kevin Peterson played exceptionally well. Uh, so we've got a lot of positives to take out of the game. In the middle, middle of our batting innings as well, we lost three for nothing and managed to post a good score. So we've got a lot of good things coming out of today's game, and we had a lot better feeling out in the field. So.